What's up guys, Zumbert here with tutorial number three of how to make a website in Notepad. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make bold font, italic font, and underline font. Um, as well as typewriter font, and then how to um, change your font size, and how to... Uh, poop, what is it? Oh yeah, how to change what type of font you're using, like Arial or Impact or whatever. You get what I, you get it in the point. Anyways, so here I'm just gonna start with the basic um, structure of a website. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then I'll put a link right here to tutorial number one, and it basically shows you how to make this and uh, what this is and stuff like that. Okay, so first of all, bold. Um, as you can see, first of all, bleh, I can't talk. I um, Before this tutorial, or before I started recording, I put tutorial number three up in the title, and I should probably say. But, and I also um, typed bold, italics, underline, and then all three in the body, because that's how I'm going to be showing you guys. So for bold, it's really easy. You just do a tag with a B inside of it. And then to end it, you do forward slash B, just like that. Italics is the same exact thing, except with an I inside. Um, end. And then if you're smart, you'd know what underline was. I wonder what it is. B A U. End it. And then all three. I'm just going to go B I U. And then I got to end it in order. So end the B and the I and end the U. And I'm going to go save that. And then I saved it as HTML an HTML document to my uh, desktop. If you don't know how to do that, again, go back to tutorial number one, and it teaches you how to do that. So, my preset browser is Google Chrome. But, okay, so here it is. Bold, italics, and underline, and then all three. Uh, if I want to make this look a little bit neater, I'm just going to go ahead and put br slash in between. Oh, can't type. And basically what this does is put a space in between um, in between the like yeah, basically it does that. It puts a space in between all the words so they stack on top of each other. Um, yeah. So that's that. And then that's pretty easy. And then, if I want to do typewriter font, or typewriter text, it's called, um, also known as monospaced font, because the spacing between the, um, the letters are small. Um, this is really easy. I'm just going to go ahead and make a new line for that. And type writer text and basically you just make a tag with a TT inside and then you end that and TT stands for typewriter text so control s to save that and as you can see it's what it, yeah it looks like a typewriter and I'll just put in a normal one right here normal font So you can compare it to all the other ones. Okay, so this is normal. This is bold. Italics, underline. This is bold, italics, and underline. And this is typewriter. And you can put bold, italics, and underline on typewriter also, but that would... I don't know how that would look. That would ruin the whole point. But you can see the difference between normal and typewriter there. 
Okay, so that's it for that. Uh, just make sure that's saved. Next thing we're going to be doing is font size. So, um, this is pretty easy. Let's say, make a new line for this. Alright, let's say, uh, I don't know, some, no. Uh, font size. So let's say I want, um, this right here to be bigger than all of these things. What I'm going to do is change the font size. So I'm going to put a font tag in front of it. And a font tag, sorry, end font tag, closing font tag. And um, then you want to specify uh, what size you want it. So font size equals quotation. And it goes from 1 to 7. 7 is the biggest, 1 is the smallest. So I'll just show you guys um, 5 for now. And file, save. I'm going to go in here and refresh this. And if you saw that, it made it bigger. And then let's try like 7. Control S to save. And yeah, that's as big as it gets. That's what she said. Um, but yeah. So you can play around with that. Like I said before, it goes one through five, or sorry, one through seven. Seven being the biggest. And I'll do one. Just show you what it looks like. It's super small. That's what she said again. <laughs> Anyways, um. Last thing we're going to be doing today is um, the, uh, shoot, sorry, blank out again, but last thing we're going to be doing, what the heck is going on, bra, um, how to change the type of font you want, and... BR slash, I'll just make another row. So let's say I want the impact font in my website. Impact. What I'm going to want to do is put a font tag in front of it, like we did for the font size right here. And then an ending font tag. Save that. So what we want to do is go into the front font tag and type in font face equals quotation marks and then impact file save and sorry I don't want that. I want this and as you can see it's in the impact font and um, let's say your browser doesn't recognize the impact font so, I don't know what browser, I don't know, but just to be safe, we're going to go into here and we're going to put comma, um, what do we want, century gothic. And what this is going to do is basically, um, what, wow, I typed that in the wrong spot. I'm smart. In here comma, century, gothic. And basically, what this is going to do is, if, if the person doesn't have this font installed on their computer, then the, the website is automatically going to go to the next one, which is century, century, gothic. And so let's say they don't have century, gothic on here, then we can just put comma, Arial. So, if they don't have Impact or Century Gothic, then it's just going to default to Arial. And if they don't have Arial, then they need to get a new computer, because that comes on every computer in the world. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much all. But, thank you guys for watching, and um, like the video if you thought it was helpful, favorite it, um, subscribe to me. 
I've actually recently like shot up in subscribers for some like I don't I don't know why because I had 50 two days ago and now I have 400 so either someone put me in their sub box or maybe someone like liked my video or gave me a shout out or something that I don't know about but yeah I thought that was pretty funny but it's good for me I don't really mind the only thing I'm worried about is inactive subs, which I have a lot of because my views don't match up with my subscribers. So, yeah. Also, there's only certain fonts that you can use in um, when making a website. I believe there's 9, like 14, I think. I'll put them all down in the description. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Like I said before, please subscribe, favorite, like the video if you thought it was helpful. And yeah, thank you guys. See you later.